What is going on, everybody? It is Dylan with Astro DFS bringing you the Thanksgiving two game slate. Was going to be uh, three games, um, but for COVID reasons, I'm assuming, um, the Pittsburgh Baltimore game got postponed until Sunday, um, which kind of sucked because that was uh, that was the game everyone was looking forward to. Um, and now it just seems like we have a divisional game of Washington and Dallas, and then a uh, a game to where Houston should have a pretty comfortable lead um, against Detroit, who's really banged up. So uh, let's just get into it. Uh, so the four quarterbacks we have: Deshaun Watson, who is seventy four hundred, and then it's a big drop off to Matt Stafford at fifty eight hundred. So it's a sixteen hundred dollar price difference, and then Andy Dalton and Alex Smith, fifty six and fifty four. Uh, both are good, uh, good prices. Um, basically, I'm I'm just going to Sean Watson. I might have a line with uh, Stafford. Might have a line with Alex Smith. That's a huge might. But um, in all honesty, Deshaun Watson just looks like the best quarterback on the slate. He's got the best matchup. Uh, everybody's healthy on his team. Um, so yeah, he's he's my favorite uh, favorite quarterback play. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, 6,800, uh, another, he's probably my favorite running back, uh, today, 6,800, uh, Dandre Swift, 6,500, uh, he's questionable, uh, that's definitely going to be the biggest watch today, is if Deandre Swift plays, if he's, uh, if he does play, definitely one of my favorite plays today as well, um, those expensive players, just because there's a lot of value, um, with everything else, so. Um, two most expensive running backs are definitely on my look. Uh, if you want to spend down, Gibson did have a great game against Dallas the last time he played. Um, Dallas' team is, st is still the same. The only difference this time is uh, Dalton is going to be the quarterback again, and if he doesn't get hurt, that's the difference. Um, so Gibson should get some more volume this game than he did last game. It's just depending if he's going to produce the same that uh, he did. But he's got a favorable matchup, so it can easily happen. Um, Duke Johnson, 5,700, another guy in a really good matchup here. Uh, his price is really good. Houston should win this game comfortably. Um, the only thing that might hurt him is Detroit's just used to the Thanksgiving, their home team. So, um, but yeah, he's 5,700. He's going to get a lot of volume. Um, he's really doesn't plug in anybody else. Uh, if they do, it's only for one or two plays. So, uh, definitely like there. Uh, McKissick, if you don't want to pay for Gibson, if you want to pay 5100 for McKissick, uh, he's definitely a play for me. Um, I mean, we, we've seen his targets with Alex Smith in here. Uh, 29 for two weeks last week. Uh, four against the Bengals, but still produced. Um, and he's $100 cheaper this week. So, uh, if... DeAndre Swift is out. Adrian Peterson becomes the next man up for Detroit at 4700 It's a really good price point for him. Uh, I've already said Houston just doesn't, they don't have a good defense. Neither team does. Um, so if DeAndre Swift is out, Peterson becomes a very good play. Wide receiver, like I said, the prices allow you to do a lot this week. McLaurin uh, should be good to go at 7000 well, Fuller has an amazing matchup today, 6,400. We could see a big game out of him. Uh, Kenny Galladay is out, so is Amendola. So Marvin Jones is going to be the lone man, basically, for Detroit. Um, but let's not forget Amari Cooper. I don't like Dallas's pass game, really. Washington has a really good defense. They played them all last time. Um see them continue to play that play him good again um but yeah no one on Dallas is a huge like especially when you have Marvin Jones $200 cheaper than um Amari Cooper and then you have Brandon Cooks $100 cheaper than CD Lamb both those guys have a, a lot more upside for me than the two Dallas receivers um a one-off cheap play Marvin Hall, 3,900. Um, like I said, with Galladay and Amendola being out, 
Marvin Hall becomes a guy that you look for, especially at 3,900. He's definitely a really good uh, punt play there. Um, the only other person um, is Muhammad Sanu. Maybe we uh, maybe we finally get to see him play. I I I don't know. I'd like to hope so. Um, but he's definitely worth a look. Yet again, had to get that yawn out. Uh, he's definitely worth a look at 3,000. Um, we're going to have to just look at the news and see if they mention anything about him. Uh, TJ Hawkinson, the most expensive tight end, 4,700. Another guy that gets some more volume with, especially Amendola being out. Uh, so Hawkinson at 4,700. I'm fine with paying for him. Uh, Schultz at 3,800. I think uh, I think out of it, everyone for Dallas besides Ezekiel Elliott, I like Schultz the most, uh, especially at 3,800. Uh, Thomas, I don't like against Dallas. Um, Alex Smith just hasn't had a good connection with Thomas. He can finally get one against Dallas. Uh, I mean, it's very easy to do against Dallas' defense, but you just go off of consistency and. Uh, ceilings and they just haven't had anything spectacular and then the last guy that I will talk about is definitely going to be uh, Jordan Atkins he is my my tight end today um, been banged up a lot recently Detroit is terrible against tight ends and uh, like I said I just like Houston's pass game I really do um, Fells or Atkins is going to get a touch on this game and I'm putting my money on Atkins. Uh, 2900 gets, gets a great value. Like, we could just test something really quick, guys, and just show you what kind of line you can make. Um, plug in another wide receiver. So, say Marvin Jones. We get a defense. Let's put... Houston. Let's put Houston. You get forty eight hundred. You can afford the Hawkinson. You can afford uh, the Peterson or Johnson. If Swift's out, um, but that's if we were gonna go Marvin Jones, Will Fuller, Swift, all them. Um, but it's something you could do. You could take. You could take Houston's defense out. Put Detroit. Get an extra three hundred and afford Brandon Cooks, and I mean that's a huge stack. Um, but you gotta find value, uh, value where you can plug it in. Uh, like I said, there's, there's a couple, couple guys. Um, Sanu is one. Marvin Hall is one. Go to running backs. Uh, McKissick's definitely there at 5,100. Peterson, 4,700. And then tight end, um, Atkins. Or fouls. I just prefer Atkins here. So definitely some plays that you can do here, guys. So uh, I hope this did help. I hope uh, everyone has a good Thanksgiving. It's been a it's been a crazy year, um, but it's nice to it's nice to just have a relaxed day, watch football, just go back to normal for a day. So um, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. If you guys are interested in getting our plays for the uh, Thanksgiving slate, uh, the Sunday slate, showdowns, all that stuff, head over to AstroDFS.com. The um, link for that will be in the description. And we do have a, um, a new channel on YouTube where we're getting into um, NFL football card breaks. So if you guys are interested in that, go subscribe to that. Uh, just get prepared because we are planning on some big things with that. Uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed all that. And... Like I said, the links in the links for all that will be in the description down below. Thank you guys.